This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. This is gonna be a POV video of how I strap up my load. Just been loaded, engine on. Let's put you down. So, first things first, we just gotta go and park up. So that's what we're gonna go do now. So yeah, we've got to drive on out of here and then uh, we can go and strap up and I'm going to sh uh, strap up the entire load and show you how I do it. It's not necessarily a tutorial of how you should do it, but how I do it. So I'm just pointing that out right now. So yeah, we're just going to pull all the way down here so we're out of the way. Uh, this is the designated strapping area for this place that we've just got loaded from. So let's pull down here and out of the way. And then... Uh, we will go and strap up. Right, now do, engine off. Okay, put my phone in my pocket. Let's go. So I've got to put my shoes on. My shoes are in my footwell. So as I get out, I put my shoes on. Like so. Okay. We need some gloves. Like so, and we need to make sure the passenger door is unlocked. Now the reason the reason we need the passenger door unlocked is because we need to open up one of the side lockers. This side locker. And the reason we need to open this one up because in here we have corner boards which are needed for, uh, for this load so that's one of the first things we've got to do put corner boards on every single pallet although it is a bit difficult to put them on the top pallets can you, can you see that properly i don't know if you can So I can't put one on the top one, but I will put one there because I've strapped that up as well. And that one. Be nice if they stayed on though, wouldn't it? Let's try that one again. That one. That one. That one. That one. Go okay, back round here. That one. Now we need to grab some more corner boards. How many more do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 10. So in theory, we should be done now so we can close that back up. These are the corner boards we're going to use now for the rest of this side. One there, one there, so on and so forth. So the reason I'm doing this is because normally when I do deliveries, I'll be like, yeah, getting loaded. And then I might show you a clip of me being strapped up, but like, yeah, it's strapping up. But you don't see the whole thing from start to finish. And I thought maybe that would be a good thing to show you. So, we've got ratchets in there. And we've got straps in here. So we've got to get all the straps out now. And then once they're all out and in position, we will throw them over. And then, the sooner I do that, the better, because then the sooner I'm off of this road, because this road, trucks are passing all the time, so I'd rather be on the other side of the road, on the path. Sick. 
get them all out. We'll come back for some more in a sec. So, one there, one there, one to go over that, one there, one there, one there, three more we need. Let's go get three more. One, two, Three. That's going to be the three straps that we need. So we can do this back up now. There we go. Let's go take these three straps over. And then we're going to lob them all over. Okay. Van passing, so we're just gonna let the van through, tuck on in. <sighs> that was a bad throw. That was a really bad throw. Okay, we might have to go rectify that. Oh no, it might be all right. Not all the throws do work out. I'm left-handed as well. Um, so I throw the straps over with my left hand rather than my right. So it does make a difference depending on which angle you're facing. Two more to go. Right, so that's all the straps thrown over. We now need to go back over this side and make sure they're all okay on this side. Give them a tug so the hook hooks on. We've got to do this for every single one. And if for whatever reason the hook isn't on, we'll go back round and put the hook on. So one of these was the ones I messed up. Uh, not this one. Get that off the fence. Yeah, that one's fine. So this one we need to, it's hooked on, which is good. Just need to do that, get it up there. And there we go. I might be able to put a corner board on that top one actually. Give it a go in a sec. That one there. There. That one. And that one. <coughs> right, I am going to see if I can put the corner boards on, the top one. It's only because the rail was right beneath it. I might be able to climb up. Give it a go. That's corner ball on that side. Let's go and do the other side. Thank you. 
There we go. Corner boarded up. All right, let's go give it a tug. Lovely. Right, we can do that one up. Okay, next step is ratchets. So, every pallet needs a ratchet. That one there. That one there. Stay. There. There, 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 one, two, three, four more. Four more, two, three, four. Lovely. Back down here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Right, we've definitely done now all the corner boards, so we can close that one back up again. <sighs> right, now we do all these ratchets up. Some people might throw one over and do it up straight away. I like to do it in sequence, so you'll, you'll notice that I put all the corner boards on first. Then I lined up all of the straps. Then I threw all the straps. Then I got all the ratsits. So everything's done in sequence. Like I complete an entire job first is what I try to achieve. Center. Lovely. So yes, like I was saying, so normally like I'd turn up to a site, I'd say well I'm getting loaded, I might show you halfway through loaded and then I might show you when I'm fully loaded, fully strapped up. But I never really show the entire process of strapping up. I know like on Euro Truck Simulator for example you will turn up to get a trailer loaded and I know a lot of my fans play Euro Truck Simulator so you'll turn up to go get a trailer loaded and then it like just fast forwards time a little bit doesn't it? Well this is what is fast forwarding. <laughs> um, Yeah, this is what is fast forwarding. As a driver, you're responsible for the load security. So you have to secure it. This one's a bit stiff. This is the very top one. Some people would put two straps over this. I, uh, I'm happy with just one. It's still strapped up. They don't go anywhere. I might do it. I might like go a little bit extra tighter. Like I might normally stop there. I'll go an extra couple of clicks. 
to be safe. Right, we're nearly there, we've got three more to do. Three more. Two more. Okay, final one. Final one going on now. Lovely, right. The load is now secure. Let's do this up. Yes, the load it's now secure, but as you can see, we've got all these tassels, as I call them, to deal with. Now, if you're on a curtain slider, you'd probably just lob them in, close curtains, and off you go. On a flatbed, you can't do that. So now we've got to go back to the beginning, and uh, I'll turn the camera down a little bit so you can see. Now, we completely roll all of these up, like so. Now everyone has a different way of doing it. I do this, put it back through, give it a tug, and then put it in the pallet. That won't budge. And we do that now for uh, for the rest of them as well. So I'm just looking at the time. So we've been recording now for 19 minutes. We obviously did have a little bit of driving, but um, yeah. So, you know, 25 minutes, give or take. That's how long it like takes to strap up, including putting corner boards on as well. If we didn't have to put corner boards on, it'd be quicker. And some places you can strap up whilst you're being loaded, which helps as well. But this place won't let you strap up until, uh, until you're loaded and out of side of their premises, so to speak. This is like a, a road that they ask you to Step on pond just outside. That goes in there. So yeah, we just keep going. Do all of these up. Until we get to the end. In there. Some people would throw a strap over, then do the ratchet up, and then do this. Like, they, they would do it strap by strap. But like I said, I 
everyone has their own way of doing things man and I, I just like to get every job completed in sequence so put all the corner boards on get all the straps out get all the ratchets out throw all the straps over do them all up and then do all the tassels afterwards and it's like that's just like my preferred way of doing it also i always put the ratchets which are these on the passenger side so if i were to ever break down on the motorway or or any road really if i have to do it up again for whatever reason i'm on the passenger side which means i'm not in the traffic lane so uh that's something else to think about i used to do it up so it was on the driver's side because no one really told me otherwise there's no law against it like however you do it, it's up to you but it's just a little bit safer to do it on the passenger side that one can go in there look nice and safe In there three more to go so as you can see for this um sort of 25 minutes because it is going to take a good 25 minutes it's non-stop non-stop throwing doing up rolling up you know it's a bit of a workout for your for your arms well, my arms are starting to ache a little bit <laughs> but it's part of the job it needs to be done Final one. Final one. See, it looks a bit. I don't know if you can see. That one there looks a bit. What's the word? Peculiar. It's like it looks like it's leaning. But that's how it's supposed to be. Final one. There we go. Put you back down. Fully strapped, fully loaded, fully strapped, fully corner boarded. That is, um, that is what it looks like. So now we just make sure everything's done up. Make sure the boxes are closed. You know, the straps are on and they're done up tight and they're not missing. So I've got to go check the other side as well. You know, they're all, they're all done up properly. Side lockers are closed. Sometimes it has happened in the past where I've jump back in the truck and realize I left the side locker open so you, you just try and get in the mindset of trying to remember these things back around here all the while we're looking at the trailer as well make sure there's nothing wrong with the trailer that's shut right yeah we're looking good we're all on brilliant Right, so now we jump back in the truck. Put our gloves there. Gotta take my boots off on the step. And there we go. Fully strapped up and everything, and we're done. How long have we been recording? Yeah, so 25 minutes, that. And that's including driving from over there as well. <sighs> so now, we take the high-vis off and we drive. And we just keep driving until we get to our destination. Uh, where this is going, we're not going to get there until 10 past 5. They don't take deliveries after 3 o'clock, so it's definitely not being delivered. <sighs> so yeah, catch my breath. A sign I need to lose weight. <laughs> but that's the job. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different. POV strapping up. Let me know if you want any uh, any other POV videos and uh, I'll get them done for you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.